This site can't be reached in Google Chrome. It is really a very common problem and I can understand how frustrating it is while working when we try to do something and suddenly we get this error. Here we will be doing very simple and very effective steps to fix this problem and ensure that it doesn't come back. So let's go ahead and do that. So open your Google Chrome and at the top right corner we have these three dots. Click on that. And once you click on that, you will find an option called settings. So click on that. Here at the left hand side, you will find privacy and security. And you just need to scroll down. And you can, the very first thing which you can do is clear the browsing data. So once you click on clear browsing data, it will select you, it will ask you to select all time or last seven days. So I would recommend to select all time. And you just need to click on clear data. If still that doesn't work, then come back here in advanced and at the left hand side you will find reset and clean up. Now here we have this option called restore settings to their default original. Now this will reset the Google Chrome, disable the extensions and it will delete the cookie and cache from your computer. And the best part is your bookmarks, history, safe passwords won't be affected. So you can reset the settings and then just restart the computer and see if that works for you. If that doesn't, we will move to the next step. So for that, you just need to click on the search icon and type CMD and click on run as a administrator. Once you do that, it will ask you to say yes and a new window will appear like this. And here we need to flush the DNS. When there are a lot of DNS in the computer, when you have you have been using your computer for a long time and using your Google Chrome, then flushing DNS will help. So here you need to type ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Now you can type this command. I will also mention these commands in the description box so that you can copy and paste it. So once you have typed ipconfig space flush DNS, hit enter. So this will clear the DNS and it will resolve. And next time when you will use the browser, it will use a fresh DNS. So once this is done, we need to reset the IP address as well. And for that, we need to type net sh space int space ip space reset. I will mention these commands in the description box so that you don't face any problem. So I'll just maximize it so that you can Type it, netsh space int space ip space reset. Hit enter and this will reset the network for you. And you just need to restart the computer and see if that works for you. And if it doesn't work, then we will move to the next step. So for that, just do a right click in the start icon and click on run. And here type ncpa.cpl. Once you have typed it, click on OK. A new window will appear like this. So if you're using a wired connection, you need to go to this Ethernet. And if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, then you need to look for the Wi-Fi. Since I'm using the Wi-Fi connection, I'll select Wi-Fi and I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. Now here in properties, we need to select this internet protocol version. So here we are going to set the DNS, the Google DNS, which is a well-known DNS. And here, you need to select use the following DNS server. Currently, I'm using cloud DNS, which you can type. Either you can use the cloud or you can use the Google DNS. So from here, you can type 1.1.1.1 and then alternate DNS 1.0.0.1. You can also note it down. The preferred DNS will be 1.1.1 and alternative will be 1.0.0.1. This is the cloud DNS. If you want to use Google DNS, you can use 8.8.8 .8 and the preferred DNS, the secondary DNS will be 8.8.4.4. .4. So once you have selected, once you have chosen cloud or Google DNS, just need to click on OK and just restart the computer and see if that works for you. And there is one more thing which you can do that to reset or just restart the Wi-Fi router. Now for that, you just need to turn off the Wi-Fi and then turn it back on after a minute or so. This will also help to flush the DNS and reset the network for you. Once you do that, 
see if that works. See if your Google Chrome is working fine or not. If you're still getting site cannot be reached, if you're still getting this error site can't be reached, then we will move to the next step. I would recommend to use your Edge browser. If your Google Chrome have some issues, then open the Edge browser and either you can use the Mozilla Firefox and hit enter and you can install the Mozilla Firefox, which is a good browser. You can also install Brave browser, which is also a good browser. You just need to type Brave and it will get the brave.com Brave browser. So these are the browser which you can try. And if you still have issues, you can create a new user account by just searching user. And from here, you will find add, edit, and remove other users. And from here, select a add a user account, or you can switch to any other user account and see if your Google Chrome is working fine or not. If you still have issues, then we can uninstall and reinstall Google Chrome. So for that, Press the window and R key together and open run. You can also do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here you need to type appwiz.cpl. So once you have typed app.appwiz.cpl, click on OK. And this will open up uninstall or change a program. From here, select the Google Chrome, uninstall it, and come back to Edge browser or any other browser and type google.com slash forward slash Chrome. And you can, and here you will get an option to download the latest Chrome and you just need to install it and see if that works for you. So for many of us, these steps will fix the problem. And if you still have issues, what I would recommend to see if you're, you are able to use your internet from any other laptop from the same Wi-Fi. Because there could be a problem with the Wi-Fi router or the service provider. That can be managed, that can be checked. Because if, if it's not a problem with the laptop, there could be a reason that your Wi-Fi have some issues or the router have some issues. You can also try your mobile hotspot. If you're using a mobile, just try to turn on the hotspot and connect your laptop and see if that works for you. It is a pretty easy process. In your mobile, create, turn on the hotspot, and from the Wi-Fi icon, select your mobile hotspot and see if you're able to use your Google Chrome. If that works, that means you have issues with your Wi-Fi connection and you can call the network service provider. I hope this video has helpful. And if yes, please hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.